Maker's breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Indeed. We have been praying for your safe return, Warden. I can believe it. Though I'm afraid if we do not act quickly to erode Loghain's support, we may all be seeing a great deal of Fort Draken in the future. Very little. We will need to work together. And quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first. But he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat. Yet even now, I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. I thought so. I'd hoped so. Howe's influence was strong. His death can only be a good thing. But even that will not be enough. I know my father. And he is committed to his course. He will see this through, no matter what. You will need ammunition come the lands meet, and I can help you in that regard. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Howe's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the lands meet, but you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough, and decent, but even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan. I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite... Spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denerim. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she batted her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. Honora was a capable administrator for Caelan's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. Um, thanks. I am right here, you know. His mother was a maid, but his father was Merrick Theron, for whom we all risked our lives to win back the throne. I only wish Merrick had taken more time to instruct the lad in the politics of ruling. I did my best, but we all hoped Caelan and Honora would secure the succession. No, I don't, which I've told both of you on many occasions. If Honora's turned against Loghain, I say let her keep the crown. It looks better on her anyway. You're both wrong. With a few months of experience, Alistair will make a fine king. He knows how to lead troops to defend his land. He knows how to stand and fight for justice. 
He knows how to show compassion to those less fortunate, and how to trust to the Maker's guidance to know right from wrong. And he knows who to turn to for aid, should that training fail him. He will be fine. We certainly have a great deal to plan. Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy, and the sooner we know which she is, the better. You return? Is there something you wish to discuss? Ask me whatever you like. Of course it does. Do you think me heartless? But how much worse would I be to calmly stay at the side of a man who murdered my husband? He was, and far happier in the field than in the throne room. He was reckless, impetuous, and charming. Had he not been king, he would have made a dashing rogue for a band of players. We were a good pairing. He would not have wanted the burden of ruling any more than I would have liked remaining the silent wife in my husband's shadow. Caelan was so idealistic. The world was his storybook and he was the hero. And my father is different. He's an idealist too, but he knows what idealism costs. They often clashed, but never seriously. Never for long. Caelan would always come round to Father's way of thinking eventually. And then the Blight came. Caelan dreamed of uniting all the nations of Thedas against the Darkspawn. It was a dream. He wouldn't surrender. What my father saw, however, was the boy he had swaddled inviting Orlesian troops back into the land he had fought to free of them. And for once, my poor, foolish husband wouldn't back down. They would not believe it, most of them, even from my lips. Loghain is a hero they've looked up to their whole lives. Far easier to believe you or me a liar than him a murderer and tyrant. That's why it will be critical to find some way to discredit him before the lands meet. We must have proof of my father's crimes for the bands or they will never believe us. It was more than just my own loss, but I thank you all the same. Ask me whatever you like. Ah, well, he was once a farmer when he was a boy, if you can believe it. <laughs> I never could myself. He's useless with plants, for one thing. I remember my mother once asking his help with a sick rose vine. My mother oversaw the rose gardens personally. He touched it. No more than that. And it shed half its leaves like a dog with mange. She never asked for him to help with her roses again. He bought her another one, though. He carried it back from Denerem with the branches overflowing his saddlebag. Despite the thorns tearing him bloody, he wouldn't let anyone else take it. He wanted to be the one to present it to her. My father has his faults, Warden, but he is far from common. Trust would perhaps be putting it too strongly. My father knew what Howe was, and while I despised the man, I knew that father relied on his political mind. I expect my father thought himself above being influenced by the snake. Truly, I wonder how many of these acts stemmed from how and not my father at all. We may never know. Because he believes he is right, Warden. He thinks he is the only one who can see Ferelden out of its current crisis, even if it is one he helped engineer. My father is capable of remarkable blindness, but it stems from his love of Ferelden. That is the saddest part of all, I think. I hope not, but I fear it is so, yes. I am not sure. I had no inkling of my father's plans until Caelan was already dead. I would like to think that my father planned for the worst, but did not truly decide that Caelan was a lost cause until that moment in Ostagar. The alternative is difficult to imagine. Ask me whatever you like. I try not to. Ignoring that the man looks so much like Caelan, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Caelan as well. But it is true that Alistair has Theron blood. 
To some, this is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. Do so. I will be interested to hear what he has to say. So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. Really? <laughs> Whatever will give you that idea? Well, it's nice that you think so. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just let it happen? Marry her? As in marriage? As in be her husband? You've spoken to her about this? You did, didn't you? Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? That's crazy! I... suppose... I don't know how much of a leader I am, but... at least I know she's a good ruler. Go ahead, then. Tell her I'll do it if it comes to that. Uh, excuse me while I go have a small heart attack somewhere. No big deal, right? Well, have you spoken to my lucky betrothed yet? Or will we be reduced to passing notes? He has? I wasn't expecting that, to tell you the truth. To marry Kaylin's brother. Well, I suppose stranger things have happened. If it will truly help matters... Is this it, then? I agree to marry Alistair, to retain my throne, and in exchange I give you my support. If not, then tell me now. Done. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? I still do not, but thank you for asking. Ah, there you are. I was about to send out a search party. I have been hearing of a great commotion in the alienage. What exactly happened there? Make her forgive me. I should be appalled that such a thing could exist here. But I'm overjoyed you can implicate Loghain. We must end the civil war quickly. What the Blight does not corrupt in this land, politics surely will. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. I will call for the Landsmeet to convene. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. Warden, I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair, if you were even rem... The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally put this to... I can end the... As you say. Warden, I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair, if you were even remotely worthy of being called Merrick's son, you would already be in the Land's Meet. Now wouldn't you? You have torn Ferelden apart to oppose the very man who ensured you were born into freedom. But do not think you will get past me to desecrate the land's meat itself. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally put this to rest once you are gone. I have had... so many doubts of late. Loghain is a great man, but his hatred of Orlais has driven him to madness. He has done terrible things. I know it. But I owe him everything. 
I cannot betray him. Do not ask me to. I never thought duty would taste so bitter. Stop him, Warden. Stop him from betraying everything he once loved. Please, show mercy. Without Loghain, there would be no Ferelden to defend. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Aemon. <laughs> But no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden. How will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? What do they offer you? How much is the price of Ferelden honor now? Some of us are curious, Loghain, about precisely what happened at Ostagar. So, one of Kaelin's killers would dare speak of betrayal. You led our king to his death with your grandiose tales of griffins flying into battle. What's this? There is no slavery in Ferelden. Explain yourself. There is no saving the alienage. Damage from the riots has yet to be repaired. There are bodies still rotting in their homes. It is not a place I would send my worst enemy. There is no chance of holding it if the Blight comes here. Despite what you may think, Warden, I have done my duty. Whatever my regrets may be for the Elves, I have done what was needed for the good of Ferelden. Indeed. Do we not owe it to Merrick to see his son on the throne? If he were a true son of Merrick, I would not hesitate to swear fealty to him. But I see nothing of Merrick in this pup. But enough of this. I have a question for you, Warden. What have you done with my daughter? You took my daughter, our queen, by force. Killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. My father is no longer the man you know. This man is not the hero of Riverdale. This man turned his troops aside and refused to protect your king as he fought bravely against the Darkspawn. This man seized Caelan's throne before his body was cold and locked me away so I could not reveal his treachery. I would have already been killed. If not for this Grey Warden. So, the Warden's influence has poisoned even your mind, Enora. I wanted to protect you from this. My lords and ladies! Our land has been threatened before! It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me, and we shall defeat even the Blight itself! Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden! Western Hills is with you, Loghain. Make her help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I stand with the Warden. The Blight is coming. We need the Grey Wardens. Traitors! 
Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? You fought with us once, Eamon. You cared about this land once, before you got too old and fat and content to even see what you risk. None of you deserve a say in what happens here. None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have. How dare you judge me? Then, let us end this. I suppose we both knew it would come to this. A man is made by the quality of his enemies. Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Enough! Let the Landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. A test of arms, in single combat until one party yields. And we, who are assembled, will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself, or have you a champion? It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself! Estimated you, Warden. I thought you were like Kaelin, a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. I yield. I didn't just hear you say that. You're going to let him live? After everything he's done? Kill him already! Wait. There is another option. Bataean is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. There are three of us in all of Ferelden. And there are compelling reasons to have as many wardens on hand as possible to deal with the Archdemon. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? Absolutely not! Riordan, this man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you! How can we simply forget that? You can't do this. My father may have been wrong, but he is still a hero to the people. Honora, Hush. It's over. Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Honora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father. Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the Maker knowing that Ferelden is in your hands. So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No! When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? So much for our plan to rule together. If Alistair would rather not have the throne, I am more than willing to take it. 
I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Enora. Warden, will you help us? As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead for Elden? We do. I believe this is what King Merrick wanted. To see his blood tied to my father's to begin a new line of Ferelden kings. But I... I mean... I, I did swear an oath. What I mean is, I'm, I'm all for founding a new line of kings. But... Well, there's the blight. What the king is trying to say, my lords and ladies, is that he will be taking the field with his fellow Grey Warden to do battle with the Archdemon. Uh, yes. That. Until then, I shall stay in Denerim and rule in my husband's absence, as I did for Caelan. But I trust Alistair shall reach a more heroic ending. My fellow Grey Warden will, I hope, take Loghain's place as the leader of my armies. Shall we finish this thing together? Everyone, get ready to march! It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it! Ferelden is depending on you all. You made me king. After all this is over with, they're actually going to put me on the throne. I'm still... I'm going to be the king. Congratulations. Congratulations? Why would you do this to me? How could you? I've done nothing but regret my blood since the day I was born. I don't want this. I never wanted this. I hate the very idea of it. I knew that Arlima wanted this for me, but I never did. I thought for sure that there would be a way out of it. But then you went and put me on the throne yourself. Why? And what I want doesn't factor in anywhere, does it? Funny how it always works out like that. I've just never thought of myself as a leader. I'm going to make a terrible king, you have to know that. How can I make decisions that are going to affect the lives of everyone in the kingdom? I guess I don't really have a choice in this now, do I? I'll do my best, of course, and I expect that you'll be there to help me, right? Good. Then it's settled. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. He says the army has gathered there and is almost ready to march. As soon as we're ready, we should head to Redcliffe ourselves. The blight awaits, right?